as you may know, one of the biggest issues uh, for people that are aging is that uh, they decrease their mobility, they become sometimes sedentary. So let me introduce you Fitness Hunt that encourages seniors to exercise by using emotional connections and familiar locations. Now this is our team, we are from Italy, and are living here, they just flew here yesterday, and we work together on a system uh, that is based on wireless technology, and that stimulates elderly to move more. And it does that by engaging the emotional connected ones, in turning seniors furniture and domestic landscape into exercising tools. In this system is a harder that invites a hunter, the senior person, to a fitness hunt. So the hider creates a profile for the senior and this information will be used by the system to create tailored uh, exercise plans. Now the hider can create, can, sorry? Now the hider can, uh, can create a fitness plan helped by the application that works the hider to the plan schemes. And the hider will place the exercise in a location inside the house and will be connected to a Wi-Fi trigger. Now on the other side, the hunter, <laughs> sorry. Now on the other side, the hunter will be invited to a fit and stand quest by the hider. And while the, the hunter will go around the house looking for the exercises, Fitness Hunt will help him pointing to the exercises or advising or noticing him that is uh, close to an exercise. Now, one, once an exercise is found, uh, Fitness Hunt will show a video demonstration of the exercise. Now, after completing the exercise, <coughs> The hunter can rate it based on the level of effort that required him. And this information will be useful to tailor a better exercise plan. At the end, the hunter gets a congratulation message as a reward, and he will be invited to connect with the hider. Now. Hello, everybody. Uh, we had an experience prototyping Fitness Hunt, and uh, And we did that in order to uh, investigate the interaction between the either and the hunter uh, to see how the uh, sen well, seniors uh, interact with the uh, video demonstrations and also to get more information uh, on several opportunities to reduce common mistakes that seniors may uh, do performing exercises. And so uh, this video shows you, uh, well, the following video shows you a bit about our experience for the diving. Thank you. 
l'applicazione ha degli errori che si fanno comunemente se ti dicessi per esempio che bisogna evitare di spingere le ginocchia avanti system, a smart system that adapts to the specific needs of the uh, uh, seniors and, uh, yeah, and, and to the context. We would like to improve the interaction between users and demos and uh, we would like to guarantee the compatibility with other devices and finally we would like to use a freemium business model that allows free users to watch videos and uh, premium users to, to have a full package. Thank you. Very good. Okay, uh, open for uh, questions. If you could introduce yourself again as a judge if you haven't. Lily Seraph and Home Care Assistance. Um, in your use cases, did the seniors already have the smartphones that were needed to run the exercises? Uh, we were thinking about uh, a future in which in 10 years probably seniors will have or we will be able to, to use the smartphones and anyways, maybe uh, uh, using a smartphone it may be not too difficult for seniors. Maybe it's something that they can learn. So this could be uh, an incentive to, for them to use them or to learn it. But it is meant to be on their own devices. It's, it, you weren't. Yeah, you know, the yeah they can use them with their own, de the own devices. Also with the iPad, they use the, uh, the phones, uh, yeah, smart tablets. James Lane, uh, Stanford. I'm curious um, for the location of finding these. Do, do you think Wi-Fi works well enough, or do you need something like iBeacon or some other way to get more accuracy in a home to find the exercises? That's actually, that's a good point. And uh, we, for the proto app we developed, we use Bluetooth Low Energy with iBeacons because it's quite practical so, for doing these So the exercises doing these have a have a beacon in them. Sorry, I didn't the exercises themselves have an active component to find. Yeah, actually okay. you spread the, the beacons around the house and they uh, simply trigger the app for showing up the video of the exercise. Yeah, of course, and the beacon, each beacon is assigned to each uh, different exercise the elderly is supposed to perform. Great, Benjamin. So uh, my question would be, this is designed, the, the enter is basically someone that is an elderly, uh, the enter, the enter is basically someone that is an elderly, they may be fragile, uh, let's say he, he or she hurts himself during the exercise, he basically falls, um, how will you manage the situation? <coughs> So at the beginning, we show that the header will create a profile for the senior person. And the profile information includes the health condition of the person and the mobility condition of the person, and also some information about how the house is, is it looks like, like if there are stairs or there are things that can be useful for the exercises. So all this information will tailor the exercise based on the capabilities of the person itself. Thank you. Over there. Hi, uh, Shelley with the President's Council on Fitness, Sports, and Nutrition. Kind of back to the original uh, question, um, I think of my 92-year-old grandmother who doesn't have a smartphone, doesn't want a smartphone. Her hands are too crippled to be able to push 
buttons anyway. So is this really dependent on the hider to really help, you know, help them through this process or, and manipulate the screens for some? Or is it, you know, maybe the demographic is just for folks that are smartphone savvy and willing to look at a very small screen. That was the other thing is the small screen. I, and again, the, by reference, um, you know, maybe a, a demographic that is different. So uh, I think uh, it, it's a good point. Uh, um, I think there are a couple of questions that we would like to clarify. So one aspect is that the hire has a very important role in this system because it's the motivation, basically, for the senior to exercise. The other thing is the technology. So we thought uh, of this system as a, as a yeah, the interactions that we design are between a tablet or a mobile phone and a senior person. And probably the demography will be defined by the capabilities of the person to use it, of course. But I, we believe that in the future, uh, many other kind of technology could have this kind of uh, settings and, and this kind of uh, products. I'm thinking about um, okay, time is up. Sorry to interrupt you. Thanks very much. Yeah. <laughs>